You're struggling at jujitsu. I got you. I'm the Arizona Silverback. Let's begin. <music> jiu-jitsu that's okay first i'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh the comparison most people feel the reason they're struggling at jiu-jitsu is because they're comparing themselves to other people so for instance if you're a no stripe white belt you think oh at no stripe white belt i should be this or one stripe or two stripe or three stripe so what you do is you start drawing comparison you say oh, i'm supposed to be there i'm supposed to be there i'm supposed to be there that's wrong or maybe you're a blue belt and you're losing to white belts or maybe a purple belt and lost to a blue belt listen Jiu-Jitsu is not a game of who's better than who. Now, in, in the tournament, yes, but in, in actuality, no. Jiu-Jitsu is supposed to be your own journey. So you're bad at Jiu-Jitsu, will get better by practicing, all right? But you're, if, you're, if you're comparing, that's the problem you're having. It's not so much who's better than who, all right? If you're rolling, you're, getting, you're losing to people, that's great, eventually that'll go away. Now, what we wanna look at is, is your Jiu-Jitsu better today than it was yesterday? Is it better today than it was two months ago or a year ago or five years ago? We're not comparing you to other people. We can only compare you to you. I have some students that aren't very good at jujitsu. However, they try and I can see a growth and when they roll over time, they're the best, the best version of themselves at this moment and they still get frustrated with themselves. They say, hey, like I'm not doing very good. I, I'm struggling with jujitsu. I don't, maybe it's not for me. And I, I asked them, I was like, well, first off, did you get into jujitsu to beat other people? And their answer is usually no. Well, why'd you come in? Whether they invited camaraderie, exercise, they're looking for something. That was why they came in. And now I ask them, well, why are you here now? And they're like, well, you know, I, I, I like what I do. I like jujitsu. Then why are you comparing yourself? Why take you and compare it to other people? Why take you and say, I'm supposed to be where he is or she is, but you're all different. I have a saying, I'm a, I've been a personal trainer for 12 years, is everybody and everybody is different. So that means that every person is unique and you're gonna roll different ways and people are gonna learn at different rates and maybe somebody's not even, you know, of your level of sorts, you know, like they're, they, they, like you're a blue belt and they're a white belt, but they're playing an anti-game to your game. You're still learning, you know, like it takes time. But again, don't compare yourself to other people. That's the worst thing you can do in jujitsu and it'll make the experience miserable. If you're not smiling or leaving with a smile on your face, you're doing jujitsu wrong. So again, you're thinking about quitting because jujitsu isn't very good. But again, is your jujitsu better than it was? Now, you might be getting beat up a little bit in practice, so you might not feel that way, but you might be trying new things. You might be learning new things. If you're applying your jujitsu, your jujitsu will get better over time. So be patient. Remember to enjoy the experience. And um, there's a, a video out there it's one of my favorites and, and in the video Kyotera says it's not how good you are at jujitsu it's how good jujitsu is for you okay so hear that again it's not how good you are jujitsu it's how good jujitsu is for you now you might you might not hear that now but I promise you one day it'll make sense okay whatever you do don't quit it, this is the best thing that'll ever happen to you if you let it give it time we'll see you guys later Bose.